Hello? Hello? Yes, Jihad, how are you? Yeah, do you hear me? I hear you, go ahead. Yeah, you know, uh, CP, uh, regarding Jesus, I, I know he... I know, you know, nobody can find any bad things about him, but, you know, did did, uh, did, the, new, did the New Testament Gospels, are they clear books? You tell me. You Muslims can explain anything. I don't know. Are they clear? No, but well, what I'm saying is no, nobody's, Jesus has a pure name. No, no, nobody's saying this, but the way Jesus spoke and the way Jesus gave instructions. Hmm. To his to his uh, apostles, is oh. it always clear? Is it always one hundred percent? Yani wadah. Anybody can understand it one hundred percent. You know, you can say clear to the wind to whom. If you if you speak to someone as an idiot, it's not clear for him. If you speak to someone as a believer, and he is he have knowledge, it's clear. So you know, I mean, uh, because the wind, as the wind I know, the person. I as I know, Jesus sometimes he spoke clear, and sometimes he he spoke. No, my friend, and Jesus, Jesus in, most in of the parable. time, exactly, he spoke in parable. That is the clear part, actually, more than other ones, because the parables is to make it easier for those who they are not educated. Okay, my friend, sometimes know. a person cannot understand what's being said in the Gospels. You cannot my, understand and, 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 and this is why there are some people, they volunteer to explain to you in case you have the, such a scenario, because not all people are the same intelligence. It's a fact. Not all people are smart or super smart. There is someone is a genius. There is someone is so so. There is someone is not smart like me and you. My friend, mm. many people have tried to study what what Jesus said. Okay, and and so sometimes they didn't. Even, okay, who who is they, the who is the first one who studied what Jesus said? Oh, is okay, it? nobody's saying. Okay, even brother, mm. even the historian said he's a healer. He's a healer. So even those academics, they said he's a healer. So he healed people. Mm. We know that. That's a, that's a powerful... Not only that, I want to add to this. You know the Talmud, the book of the Jews, which they speak against Jesus? You're the one who supports the Jews. You're the one who... Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're the one who supports the Jews. Don't, 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 don't. You support oh, oh, Israel, take it easy, take and it easy. I know that. Take it easy. This guy is a Palestinian. That's why he gets uh, uh, aggressive now. <laughs> yeah, but so... When listen, you, listen, when, listen, when, listen, when listen. Hold on, hold on. What hold, happened? What happened? And when they take Did a I, male baby and they squash his head... Okay, go ahead. Who, okay, what happened to you, man? It's okay. Yeah. So take it easy. No, I'm just telling you about, about right. like those Jews. I'm not supporting. Me. I'm you not know supporting it. my you friend. I'm not supporting anyone. I'm supporting the one who owned the land. The land is the land of the Jews. This is not yours. As simple as that. Very simple. So. <laughs> doesn't matter. No, there's no Sahyuni. There's no Yahud. That Sahyun is the name, other name of the Jews. You do not know. You understand? You know, you, you go right now, search for the word Zion in the Bible, you will see it. Very simple. So you are ignorant. You don't know what your Zion means. So Muslims, you know, they think they, they can be. Okay, so smart. did the Israeli let, army let us, ever let kill us babies? Change, let us not yes or no? The Israeli army is what? Did they ever murder children? Yes or no? That's a are you are you against murdering children? Did the Israeli army ever? I'm murder asking children? you. Maybe I don't know. I'm not in the army. If they do, are you against murdering children? Yes, I am. Okay, so why your Quran allow it? The Quran allows it. Okay, so when Allah He order the Jews, how the Jews they get into Israel? Do you know how they how they went there? Actually, can you tell me? Allah gave Allah gave them the land first, wasn't okay. it? Okay, so but Allah gave them they, the land. So what? So why you are why you are trying to take the land from the Jews? This is their land. You just you are a Palestinian. And now you admit that this is the land of the Jews. You said Allah gave them the land first. How, I know, brother. How but, he know, gave there, him. There, uh, there, uh, there's a lot of Palestinian Christians. Jihad, jihad, so even jihad. the Jews shot bullets my, at my and friend, they don't support them. Okay, okay. I can show you how your prophet slaughtered everybody, enslaved their children, and even the one. Okay, if somebody is nine years old, can we kill him? No, no, no. I'm asking you, if somebody is nine years old, can we kill him? 
No, nine, nine years old. Is, okay, is I can child. show you right now what your prophet did to the Jews. They order every child to take off his pants, and the one who have little hair, just little hair around his pubic area, they start. Is him. this from the stupid Abu Bakr book? I, I don't care, stupid Abu Bakr. What Abu Bakr? This is your prophet saying that, your prophet stories, you know, and this is your books. I mean, what I would do now, so I, if I show you reference from your book, you don't like them, and now you call Abu Bakr stupid. Thank you very much. Well, here we go. Abu Bakr no, is stupid. because I already told you that I don't, I don't agree with Sahih Bukhari. I, I don't. I don't. My, my jihad. Who cares what you agree about? And you know, this is history. This is history written by Muslims. So now, if I would uh, prove to you okay, something, okay. But it's, so, it's like you said, Ibn Kathir is a guy who came four hundred years later. Yeah, so but who is but he? this is a guy. So whenever but, I came but to the, this, but the I one, said okay. Okay, but the so one is talking. Ibn Kathir is a guy who can come five hundred years later. Okay, but the, he had but, is a guy who can come with his own tafsir. What's the difference? My friend, the one is talking now is someone. His people slaughtered by Muhammad himself in the time of Muhammad. He said that the reason he was not killed, he was a child, but because he don't have little hair around his pubic area. So anyone have little hair around, they kill him. But all of us, all of us, we know you are a Middle Eastern. I'm a Middle Eastern. We have hair since a very early age. So, but we are children still. So, if this is the reason to kill a person, well, here we go. He is a child, and because he was too too young to have little hair. He did not. He was not killed. So the order of Muhammad is to kill anyone have little hair around this pubic area. Okay. So, so what is what is adult according to Muslims? In, in based on this case, if he have little hair around his pubic area, and why they order them to take off their clothes? Because obviously they don't appear like men. They appear like kids. If they are already appear like men, we do not need to ask them to take off their pants. Correct. The point is, if you are a man, we will kill you. If you are not. We will not kill you. So what we do? Take off your pants, and the one who have little hair around his pubic area, kill him. That means they are children. So either you support it or you are against it. Now let's go back. You said that the uh, the Quran, Allah, He gave the Jews the land. Why Allah gave the Jews the land? In the beginning, He did. Where, in, kept where in the stubborn. Quran? Where in the Quran it says that in the they, beginning? They, okay, for okay, they kept being stubborn. They never obeyed the commandments of God. Okay. Okay. What is the command of God? The commandments. What is the commandment of God? What Allah gave them. This is your God, right, Allah? What Allah command them to do? To first of all, not uh, fish. On the fish. Sabbath. No, it's in the front of you. He ordered and them to call. To to go, kill, no, no. To, he the ordered them. Listen, listen. He ordered them to to go and kill all the Palestinians. The Canaanian. The Palestinian, the real Palestinian, not you. You are yeah. just uh, hey, okay. So, uh, Palestinian. Yeah, okay, those are the Palestinians. Okay, 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 yeah. Those Palestinians. Okay, the, the 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 actual Palestinian, not the Arab, which I know. Okay, I know, exactly. Whatever. Thank you very much. Okay. So now, not... Allah He ordered them to kill all the Palestinians. What what the Jews they did? They refused, correct? Right. Okay, and that make them make Allah angry from them, correct? At that time. Doesn't matter that time now. That for sure that time. So what? But Allah, He liked them to kill the Palestinian, correct? There, there was many people who, 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 got, who Allah asked the the Israelites why, why to we kill. Not, why we not go in, go in circle jihad? I mean, I'm asking you, and you are a man, you are smart. Give me the answer. See, Did Allah get see, upset? See. Did Allah get upset from them for not killing the Palestinian? Either you say yes, He got upset, and He punished them for that. Or he was okay with it. Okay, well, okay. Show me the show me the verse. Let's first of all. I'm not even saying I'm. You know, I mean, uh, you know, the Quran. Uh, I I look to it, but 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 show me the verse what you're talking about so we can get some context about what you're saying here. Chapter five, verse number twenty-one. Allah, He told Moses. You can you can read it from verse number twenty or even before. Five twenty-one. Read from 20. Allah, me, he says, Allah, he said to Moses, I remember when Moses, where the call Moses, actually there's no remember, this is a false translation. And when Moses, he said to his people, Oh, my people, remember my favor upon a favor of Allah to you, where he made prophets among you and kings and gave you what he had not given to any other 
among mankind and genie. So the Jews are the favorite people of Allah. The Quran confirmed that. Remember, you mentioned to me the <laughs> Sahai. <laughs> know that hmm. everybody knows that okay so now so Moses now he ordered them to go and attack he says oh my people Allah told them Allah told me oh my people enter the Holy Land between two bracket Palestine which Allah has assigned to you and not to turn your back in a fight for when you will be returned as a loser okay so let me ask you a question when Moses went to Pharaoh <laughs> to to show him his miracles and 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 Pharaoh brought back his sihr to show his magic then what happened my friend why we are Allah, Allah, why, Allah, why, why we are all over the place we were talking no, uh, no what happened hold Allah on, hold gave on. Moses the land right what what he delivered him out he sent him to to Israel okay so, so we know that okay but this is not no this is not the topic you said to me Show me what it says. Go and kill the Palestinians. So why you escape the conversation? Uh, you, you asked me to give you the verses and okay, now so we start the, reading them. So, and then suddenly you jump to the Pharaoh. Okay, so what you're talking about is, is reporting a story, is it not? So you know, what? Just reporting what happened? Okay, so what? Allah, he ordered to kill the Palestinian. The Jews refused to kill the Palestinian. Allah, he made them lose their way for 40 years in the desert they said to moses we will not go and fight them go on you and your god fight them okay your god why you will not go fight and then allah he because he got upset from them for refusing killing the palestinians slaughtering them all he said to them therefore the holy land is forbidden for to them for 40 years why because they refuse to go and fight with moses so as you see if the Jews did not kill and fight the Palestinian, Allah will curse them, will punish them. Do you want the Jews now to be forbidden to go to Israel again for 40 years? No, I'm sure not. You like to be an Israeli yourself. Which one is a better citizenship? To be under Hamas or to be under Israel? Be honest. Israel. Okay, but CP, that was a different time back then. I mean, it doesn't matter, look, my friend. First of all, the Arabs were not in, in Palestine at that time. My friend, my friend, doesn't matter. This is the, this is the logic. The logic is if you are against killing, then you are against killing. It, 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 you, you cannot give an excuse, oh, because at that time, this is not the time. So if Allah is, Allah is giving the land, taking the land from people who own the land, own the land, they are there, they are there, exist for the, thousands of years, they build towns and cities. So either you're against it, and then that will be your logic all the time, or you support it. So what what you say? But well, my friend, isn't it God gives progressive revelation? Oh, okay. See, now we are saying God. So uh, do you, do you, uh, so why you why you speak about logic and speak about ethic? And when you want, ethic is no. God. But what I'm saying is, isn't the command of God at a certain time? My friend, this is that. This is that. This is the command of God. No problem. Even the you, Bible you goes said with to this. Me, you said to me, "Do you support the Jews killing children?" You said that, not me. Can you show me where in the Quran it says that this was for that time for the Jews? Can you go ahead? I want to learn from you. And remember when when Musa said to his people, "Oh my people, remember the favor of Allah to you, when He made prophets among you, made you kings, and gave you what He had not given to any other among an alamin." Hmm. Okay, so this is referring. You, you say that this is referring when uh, God told uh, uh, Moses to to attack the Canaanites. The yeah, whatever who lived there. And he refused. No, he did not refuse. He he wanted to go. He wanted to do jihad, like your name. Your name is Jih your name is jihad. So okay. he refused. So the 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 Jews refused to do jihad. Only two men. Only two men. They said, "Yeah, let us go attack me and you." Like uh, very silly. Like two men and Musa's only. I mean that's funny. Three men they wanted to conquer a city. <laughs> Brother, at, at that time, that uh -huh. that land was for Bani Israel. My that friend, time. it doesn't matter why you are jumping. I'm asking you, are you against the killing? If it's you are against the killing, then your ethics would not change. Either you are against killing of people who own the land, 
or you don't mind if somebody take your land from you so are you no, do, listen do you support I'm taking the land of somebody or you don't you yourself you are yourself you say there's no Arab at that time so you yourself you're an occupation you yourself is an occupation for that land so this is the hypocrisy they, they call they occupy a land and they call themselves Palestinian you are not Palestinian and you agreed and you are the one who said yes the actual Palestinian is not us so the Arab are not the actual Palestinians so why you call yourself Palestinian who gave you the right just because you occupy the land so this is the land of the Jews given to the but, Jews but we live in the modern time now that's the issue no I mean, problem in modern in modern time do you tie people to the, your bicycle and you 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 you, you scroll them over the road in in Gaza right now do you crucify oh. people yes you do do you shoot people if you don't agree with you yes you do oh. Do you arrest a journalist if he make a statement in, in the news you don't like? Yes, you do. And what you do, you make them disappear. So what modern, you know, those those Muslims, when they want, they are moderate. When they want, they are they are savage. This is the reality. Can you name for me one person in the territory where your family live? He can be free to say something Hamas don't agree with. Or the authority, what they call a, a Palestinian authority, you will, you will be kidnapped in two seconds. So if the Jews go after you because you are fighting them, well, they are at least Jews. They are not your people, and you are an enemy to them. I, so if the Jews are being aggressive with you because you are fighting and killing, I know. Okay, I, in, the la, friend, in the last month, know, in the okay, last month, in the last month, in the last month, how many friend. how many Palestinian Muslims he attack a female with knives? How many Palestinian they attack children with knives? How many cars hit Jewish uh, uh, children? Israel? Yeah, Israel. Yeah, Jewish children. How many uh, teenage? How many? How many time the uh, uh, Muslims in there? They hit with their cars over people. They they drove over them. So how come you I don't know, see? But but sometimes they well, say it, it's revenge. Okay, your revenge from the one who did it to you, not from the children's, not from the women. Right, no, yeah, to, to be honest with you, yeah, no, it's not, it's not that way. It's, it's not, because it's, it's, brother, warfare, it's men versus men, okay? And when the, and, 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 and when, when there's women and children, that's it, they, they become, uh, okay, let me ask you, did the Jews took the Palestinian women as sex slaves? As I know, the Jews they will kill a newborn baby. I'm asking you if did he's a Jews, male. Did the Jews take the, the Jews will kill a newborn baby if he's a male? My friend, oh. my, my my friend, you can make things as you wish. You can say things as you wish. Go watch a movie called Farha. It's on Netflix. Okay, it's a here we go. He, he, wa he, he want to promise. 1948. He, okay, he want to show me. Okay, I can show you how the Muslims, how the Muslims, Go they kill. My friend, I can put for you right now in the screen, not a movie, of a million and a half Armenian slaughtered with no mercy, children, women, kids, Turkey. men, in the name of Allah. A million and a half. Not one kid, not a one woman, not 40. So either you want to be play hypocrite and you close your eyes all the time when you want, or you don't, and you are always against uh, bad things. So you can kill them. Your prophet, he enslaved them. He killed their children. They asked Muhammad, is it okay if we kill their, their you know, their are home, which means their children, when we attack? He said they are from them. He said that. But Okay, but, hold but on, hold on, hold on. you're looking at the hadith. Jihad, okay. Uh, let us go to the Quran. As long as you don't like the hadith. If I see in the street a kid playing and I don't like him, can I kill him? No. Okay, why the Quran says you can? What do you mean, man? Okay, if I show you from the Quran, because... Why, hold why on. do you do this, man? Why if do you do this? Why you do this, man? You are talking to Christian Prince. You cannot play games with me. You know that. So I'm asking you, if I see a child in the street... Brother, and, I read the Bible. My friend, I'm asking you... The question. I look to the Bible and the Don't change Quran the topic. Don't change to the topic. See what the similarities okay, are. Okay, hold on. If I show you from the Quran that you can Just kill. Just like many imams did. Okay, okay. Uh, if I but, ask. Okay, but, 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 oh, but go hold ahead. on, hold on. If I show you from the Quran that a child he was playing with kids, 
and he is a son of believers, which means he's a Muslim. And the Prophet of Allah, he killed him. What do you think? No, I, I, I mean, the thing is, CP, I just think that there were so many corrupt, Arabs back in the day that they just wanted power and they they distorted the true message because like Musa he came to people who basically they worship statues and he wanted to remind them to believe in one god and and in the Arabian peninsula there was Muhammad who tried to warn the people not to worship statues okay. but then you had other so people who were corrupt Okay, we will go back to the killing kids. Because so the now Arabs we switch, are corrupt. So now we will switch the topic. No problem. Let, us, let me ask you. Uh, no, but, is, is having statues is forbidden no, Islam? No, what did I do? What is did having, I do? Is having statues forbidden Islam? When you, when you say Islam, I, I, it's about submission, my friend. I don't care. I'm asking you. Is it forbidden? You are the one who mentioned statues now. Is it's it... forbidden in the eyes of the Creator. Okay. Uh, so, no, so read for me this forbidden. verse. Here we go. Okay. Read for me this verse. But Jesus... Well, hold on, hold on. You see, you keep jumping from place to place. No, we can't even I'm, stop but, in one place. So is, hold on, is, hold on. Chapter 34, I'm verse number 13, it says that the, uh, the prophet of Allah, Aka Salamun, he ordered the genies to make statues for him in his temple. You said to me, statues, for sure, they are forbidden. Who? So Solomon? Solomon, yeah. And this is the Aif Hadith in the Quran. Quran, uh, what chapter? What surah? Chapter 34, verse number 13. They made for him whatever he wished of sanctuaries and statues and basins as great watering. Uh, statue okay this is you know you speak arabic why in the english translation okay. they took the oh, word yeah. the statues let's, for let's why 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 in the english translation okay, read, it, read it read it in arabic if you read it slowly in arabic i will understand it if you read it in arabic okay. put it put okay. it on the screen in arabic all and right. you read it slowly and i more than likely will understand it all right يعملون له ما يشاء من محاريب. لا ما شفتش ما شفتش إشي الساعة. Okay, استنى استنى يا أخوي. It's going to come to you. Do you see it now? أنت فلسطيني كمان. Come on. وروح تعيش في السعودية. Don't change the topic now. Now he think I'm a Palestinian. أنا عرفتك يا زلمة أنا بعرفك. Ah, okay, okay. He he know me, guys. He know me. So listen, read read the verse with me. Do you see it now? Okay, yeah, I see it in Arabic. Yeah, Maluna. Read it slowly. Yeah, Maluna. I will read it slowly so you can understand. Okay. Do you see it? Uh -huh. Okay. So, who is the one making this? The genie. For who? To the Prophet of God, as a Muslim Prophet of God. You said to me, it's forbidden in Islam to have statues. Uh -huh. But it's not. What? I don't understand, man. This this one, I don't, can you repeat it? They make for him as he wish from buildings, like in the temple, Maharib, place you pray, and idols, Tamathil. Okay, br okay. brother, let, let me tell you something. Uh, okay, uh -huh. we have to we have to agree with praying and fasting and charitable giving. I don't agree with statues, okay? So, but uh, are, you, are you saying you don't agree with the Quran? If it says statues, then it's th there's something wrong. Okay, so do you there agree no or thing. not? Do you agree with the Quran or not? But I didn't understand this verse, though. Uh, okay, very simple. You know, this is fiction story. The verse before it's speaking about Solomon, he have a flying carpet. Which is very normal at that time. I mean, you and me and my grandfather, we used to have flying carpets. Which so, word is statue? What? Tamathil, Tamathil. Here we go. This is the word Tamathil. Tamathil, men. Hmm. Say the other word. Tamathil. What another word? Bad men. What's the word? 
من محاريبة وتماثيل محاريبة والزامين سينجوغ معبد سينجوغ يا معبد تيمبل so they built for him synagogue full of tamathil full of idols يعملو يعملون لاحو ما تمثيل من okay تمثيل you're saying that's uh, statues my friend you are the one who said statues you forgot what you said and yes this is what the word means tamathil statues you speak Arabic maybe your Arabic is not strong but you can ask your parents your mother your father let them read it for you. Does it say to Matthew, I'm making things up? No, I don't want that. Brother, I, I, I read a lot out of the Bible. Hmm. You understand me? No, don't change the topic. Let's go back now to the killing the, the children. If I walk in the street and I see a kid, I think he will be bad in the future. Can I kill him when he's a kid? Is that in the Quran? No, in the Hadith. See, Pete. What? You got to be kidding me here. Why? Anytime, anytime anybody says anything, you want to come with an answer? Well, isn't it the Quran? Any, anyone, he say anything? It's the same. The Muslim, they say that they collected the Quran long after Muhammad. And anybody, he say something, he say anything. He say, this is uh, the Prophet says, so they put it in the Quran. Go and see how they collect the Quran. However, my friend, this is in the Quran. This is not even in the Hadith. I was just joking with you. Chapter 18, verse number 74. Okay. 1874. Quran. 18.74. So they set out uh, until when they met a boy, he killed him. Moses said, have you killed a pure soul for other than having killed a soul? You have certainly done a deplorable thing. Hmm. What do you think? This is a prophet of Allah. His name is Al-Khadr. He was walking with Moses. Well, well, and Allah, what story were they reporting here? Moses Allah, Allah the is Egyptian? reporting the story. Allah reporting the story. Allah is reporting the story of when Moses went to the countryside in disguise. No. And he killed an Egyptian. No. Uh, and it's a mistake here. No, 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 no. Allah, he sent Moses. Okay, I'm not saying the Quran doesn't have mistakes. Okay, so you agree the Quran is a stupid the book then? Because I watched many, many shiuch from... Uh, you know, from Iraq, who who I resonated with. Hmm. There, there's no order, is what I'm saying. The order is off. Okay, so the Quran is messed up. The or yeah, I mean like. But the but, Quran but, is but not jihad, you said to me a second ago. Oh, are you going to take the stupid Abu Bakr? Are you going to take the Hadith? So the, you said to me the Hadith is the one is messed up, and now. We find that you are agreeing that the Quran is well, not I mean, too. look, even, even, I mean, there's holes in the narrative. I mean, okay, there's, there's holes, holes in the narrative. But, but I, what I'm saying is that what you can glean out of the Quran to the extent that it agrees with, to the extent that it agrees with the, the, the Torah, hmm. and there's stuff in agreement with each other, you can take it. You can take it. There's Am a I hole right or wrong? in the narrative. What, what does that mean, the whole in the narrative? Do you understand what I just said to the extent that it's in agreement with, you know... But, the, what, but the that, mean, that, mean, that means anything in the Quran can be a whole in the narrative. How you can grant... Like, that, what yeah, you I mean, there's, there's people who believe that. I mean, the, 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 main, the mainstream is not going to believe that. But, you know, I mean, this is what, what, what we, some people have come to nowadays after, after everything that they, they've seen online so it's it's not that you want to just oh yeah it's over with but but yeah this is how it comes as long as we agree that there is holes in the narrative that's mean any any verse in the quran can be one of those holes but my friend you know 
like I, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with with Jesus's name. I'm just saying if somebody reads the gospel, you cannot understand it. Hmm. You can't understand why we can't understand it. You can't understand because you don't know what's right and what's wrong, how to pray, how. how? I mean, there, there's there's some there's no there's not there's nothing one hundred percent clear in the no. gospel. No, Jesus said, "Go to your closet and pray." There's no. There's no need to stand up this way, okay. lay down so, this way. You know, you want to know what if if oh. I was to become a Christian, I wouldn't even know if I pray to the Father or the Son. Who do I give the prayers? To? Jesus said, "You say uh, who?" They asked, do you "Hold pray on." To the Son they, or asked, Father? they asked Jesus how to pray. He says, "Our Father, art in heaven." So why you are saying he did not tell you how to pray? Why you are making things okay, up? Okay, so you repeat the same thing? It's the same thing. Isn't it Jesus said that me and the Father is one, the one who saw me, he saw the Father? Yeah. Isn't it Jesus, that. he said, you can do miracle in my name? Isn't it Jesus, he said, go and teach? You know, like, so, so you know, you are, you are, you are just uh, uh, making excuses. Oh, there's no manual how I stand up, how I, uh, okay, how I'm going to wash my hands. Well, the Jews, they have a long, huge book about how to pray, how to clean yourself. How to stand up, what to say, what not to say. And it looks like the all, Christians, all, they abrogated it. No, we did not. Abrogated no, it. No, but Jesus don't want us to be the same as the hypocrite Jews. Like the Muslims, they play in the corner. So he said, don't be like those hypocrites. I know they are not really seeking God. They are praying in the corners so they can, you know, show off. So everything is the same. But don't pray like them. Don't do what they do. If you want to pray... Pray in your closet, which means in the private room. How many room. times? Doesn't matter what time. Three times? Doesn't matter. You play a thousand times. Prayer should not be about a time. Should not be an obligation. Should be between the servant and his God. I love to talk to you. I call you. If I don't like you, if I don't miss you, I do not need you. I don't. So a servant of God, he always remember God when he eat, when he drink, when he drive, when he go to work. He always have God in his heart. So you always in connection with God, not only when you go and stand up and you put your hands at the top of your, yourself, and then after two minutes, you go and start saying the F word to people. That's what the Muslims do. You know, you are from Palestine. You know the child molestation. You know the rape. You know the kidnap. You know the scam. You know the prostitution. And then, but all of them, they are Hamas. Everybody is praying to Allah. Everybody in the mosque. Everybody is religious. But the most corrupt society ever. So what you are focusing in, oh, what time, what time I have to go to pray? What time I have to stop? And you know, I like what you say, the standard narratives has holes. That is the whole Quran, because the standard narratives is the Quran. Because I was thinking maybe you can, you can, you can have an idea that there's prophets, and then there's the Messiah. And the Messiah, he's above a prophet, but he's not equal to Allah. My friend, it's not up to you to say who is equal, who is not. Jesus says, I and the Father is one. The one who saw me, he saw the Father. Can you say? So you have the Messiah can, who's number two. You the, have the, Allah. There's nothing is called number. One. No, there's you nothing is called. No, no, no. There's nothing is called number one, number because two, brother, number three. No, 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 no. We, we don't even have numbers. Those are not exist. There's no numbers. The Trinity is not numbers. Okay, so if God, if, if, if God is a spirit, if the Father is a spirit, then what is the Holy Spirit as a separate thing? Is that the Spirit of God on earth? It's uh, confusing. You see, CP. you are confusing because you are trying. Uh, when I try to explain to you now, if I say to you, who is your God? What you will say? You will say he have no spirit, correct? I mean, whatever you guys came no, with. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Because we, we want to we we compare to see who. Uh, Tell us, you guys came with enough. Say, you guys came with enough stuff. We came so with what? It. Came with what? You came with enough stuff. Is is it a human? Is it a spirit? Is he on a chair? Is he a leg? Can, is can, he this or that? Can, okay. Tell us. Are you, are, you question, are you questioning if God can or he cannot? He can. Okay. So why you just shut up then? He can. He can be a spirit and at the same time he is the father. He can be the same time the son. He can be the same time with us. He can be up in heaven. He can. So either you say that God he can or he cannot. And a second ago, you said, yes, he can. So all your question is invalid because the one who he can, he can. You are questioning now if he can. 
but all you, and you just admit that he can so if he can then he can so if you are saying how he can would you just said he can but your God cannot in the Quran says how Allah can have a son yet he don't have a girlfriend so Allah he said it clearly he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend so my God he can <laughs> he can have a son and yet he don't have a girlfriend he don't have a wife even the Quran says sahiba and you know what sahiba mean girlfriend correct not wife wife would be imra'a no imra'a will be a woman Zawja. Yani yani yeah, imra attack. Yeah, yeah, correct. You're right, right, you're right. In this, in this aspect, yes. Yeah, but sahiba. So Allah, He cannot. My God, He can. So you have, you have a God who Himself He question His ability. My God, He can. So my God, He can do things nobody can do. He can be three and one. He can be everywhere. He can be spirit. He can be a man. He can come any, any as He wish. But you Muslims cannot take a God. Unless he, as you wish, you got you, you must have you are trying to design a god, you don't have it. It looks like yani, yani Jesus, uh, my friend, when Jesus yani come to us, permission. okay, no problem. When Jesus he come to this earth, he is coming as an, in the form of a man. So people they look at them in front of them, they see a man. So what Jesus will say to them, so my. Maybe, Maybe he's powerful let, in, let in, me, in, let me in a very let me in a human let way. Me, he's more powerful than you. other humans. No problem. No problem. Bas, bas, bas no problem. But, okay, but uh, but if Jesus says before the word I was with the Father, that mean is not a man. He is with the Father before the world is exist, before the whole world is created. So when Jesus says before the world I was with you, and you glorify me and I glorify you then Jesus is not a person who get the permission as like a servant to serve us. And you know, no, those are all prophet. Uh, God created them and then he sent them. Jesus is not the same. Jesus is exists before any creation is exist. So but, when, when we say, hold on, when we say, when you say Jesus get the permission, well, this is the same God, the God, he want to give a permission to himself. So my father, he sent me, he have a work to do. I have a work to do. Jesus said, he have a work to do. And I have work to do. So he is doing his part as a work in earth. And now he is in heaven. So when he is in earth, he is doing his work as part of the mission he came to do it. Then yes, the father he sent me. Why? Because I have work to do and my father worked too. This is what Jesus said. So the father, the son, the Holy Spirit are working. And the same as the father do, Jesus said, I do. The same as the father do, I do. The same work the father do, I do. So if you want to read the Bible, if you understand, try to go deep. Don't be silly and shallow and say, oh, you know, he have a permission. What permission? Permission to be creator. Permission to, to make the blind see and to make. And why does the permission give only to Jesus? What about the rest? Aren't they the prophet? Who, you know, if you look in the in the in the stories in the Quran, yeah, 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 because I, will, I guess what I'm saying is as 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 uh, Messiah, he's 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 above normal prophet. Mm. As Messiah, how how is a prophet? How he, how he is a how he is a prophet? In fact, there is no prophet save God. All the prophets are not really prophet. Even we call them prophets because the true prophet is only God. All the prophecies coming from God. Who is the first one who knows? God. And then God, he tell us, and then we, the one who tell us the prophecy, we call him prophet. But in reality, the true prophet who knew the future is God. The human being, he don't know. So we call them prophet, which is not really an accurate name, but just to explain what they do. They prophesy in the name of God. But the fact is, the true prophet is only God. The rest are just doing delivery. So then you're saying that God he sent himself as a human to to be in in a in a shape that the humans know. Yeah, the Bible says that he is the invisible image of the invisible God. He humbled himself, God humbled himself, and he took the image of a man. Because so, as I know, like what well, you know when 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 Moses spoke to Allah, hmm. if Moses saw Allah he'll he'll die. He'll, he'll be dead. Okay. You can't 
you can't you can't see. Yeah. And? Otherwise, right? Okay. And so that so you can't really see God. Hmm. So because so, so, you cannot you cannot see God, so that, that's why you have Jesus. Okay. Is, you cannot see. Right? Yeah. You cannot see God the way He is with His glory. So God He humbled Himself, and He took the image of a man. So you can see him. Isn't it all, always we see the atheist says, okay, where is your God? If God is true, always, where is God? If God is true, how come? Okay, let, let me see God. Actually, one of the disciples of Jesus says, let us see the Father, and that's it. Even the disciple of Jesus, okay. he said to him, show us the Father, and that's it, which means, I'm satisfied if you show me the Father. So what Jesus said to him, I am with you all the time, and you do not know me. The one who saw the Father, he saw me. The one who saw me, sorry, he saw the Father. So when when the Messiah speak of himself, you know, he is speaking about his humble image, his humble coming, and uh, you know, uh, is explaining to you where the man who is speaking in front of you, where he's getting, what his background, uh, who am I? You know, okay, you are asking me like the Jews. They said to him, "Who are you? You 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 forgive sin? Who who forgives sin? Save God? You know." So Jesus said to them, which one is easier to say, go, your sin is forgiven or to say, carry your bed and walk. The guy cannot walk. He carry his bed and walk. I can say, go, your sin is forgiven. Talk is cheap. But Jesus right. he did what nobody can do. He made him carry the bed. And as you see, he is forgiving sin. And the funny is the Muslim, they say to us, where Jesus claimed to be God. Isn't it the Quran says, woman, yaghfuru dhunuba illallah, ghair Allah. So let me ask you a question. Did, uh, did Jesus, did he come for everyone or did he come just for, for, uh, just for, for ev Benny? everybody, everybody, you know, everybody, but, but uh, you have to accept, it, you know, we believe in free will, you know, it's up to you. He said, knock at my door. But I'll why open did for he you. say, why did he say, why did you forsake me? Because this maybe is a, they thought this is the quotation. From, this is the quotation for from the Old Testament, the Book of Psalm, about you know uh, how they will uh, they will crucify him. He have no guilt. He did not kill. He did not uh, rape. He did not steal. He have no guilt. And now they are torturing him. And so this is a prophecy speaking about him, and he is quoting it to remind you what is mentioned before about him. Okay. So. Hmm. Um... Who, who is the one who forgives sin, Jihad? Well, from what I know, it's God. Okay, and your God name is Allah, right? Allah. Okay. If there's other person can forgive sin? No. Okay, so when Jesus, he uh, forgives sin, what he is doing? Is he a judge? Okay, I'm asking you, I cannot, I cannot, even if I'm a judge, I cannot forgive your sin. You know, if I'm a judge, I will say, okay, I will I will not punish you. I will let you go out of jail. But the sin is sin. This is when we say the word sin is something you do against God, not against man. Right? In chapter three, verse number one thirty five it says, Who forgives sin save Allah? Who can do that? And this is Quran. This is not hadith. So when Jesus, he forgives sin, and there's tons of examples in the Bible about it, Jesus is practicing his authority as God, for only God can forgive sin. Did they witness that? Yeah, it's written, the Jews, they say to him, the Jews get so angry, you know, he said, who is the one who forgives sin? Who are you? So Jesus, he read his, their mind, and he said, which one is easier to say, Go and your sin is forgiven, or carry your bed and walk. And the guy, he carry his bed and walk. And Jesus, he said that many times, many places in the Bible. So uh, the Quran says Allah can forgive sin. But then we find that Allah is saying to Muhammad, may Allah forgive your sin. <laughs> so it looked like Allah was asking Jesus to forgive the sin of Muhammad. All right. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm listening to what you're saying. All right. So, my friend Jesus is a, a, a 
you know, you have to agree that Jesus is a very special person. Even if you are a Muslim, you will find. Yeah, they called him. They called him a healer. Uh, they even, you know, he he healed people. Uh, no problem. But you see, even we are talking about those who they are secular and atheist. They confirm there is tons of books in the world confirm in history that this person he was able to do miracle healer healing is a miracle. You don't give medicine. Yeah, they, they, they said that about Okay, him. so even the one who is Antichrist in our book, because the one who denied the Son and the Father is Antichrist, even those they witness that Jesus, he they is They give different suggestions about him, but they, they witness that many people witness from his time that he healed. Yeah, so those are the enemy of Jesus, remember. So if my enemy witness uh, for me that I can do things nobody can do, then how we can explain that? Okay, Jesus can heal, and they are atheists. Okay, but C CP, he healed. Hmm. He's crucified. But did he resurrect? And? This is the question. What? That everybody asks. Did he did he resurrect back to life? Yes, he does. You know, the, he came to the disciples. That's, that's what people wonder about. My friend, the disciples. That specific we, thing. Uh, everything in the Bible have witnesses. Everything have witnesses. So Jesus in the Bible, there's tons of verses speaking about the witnesses who saw Jesus after his crucifixion. Not only one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not ten, etc. So when we have witnesses, then it's confirmed. If we have no witnesses, it's not confirmed. So the same as you mentioned to me about the healing, there's witnesses. Otherwise, the books are written about history, written by non-Christians. And actually those who attack, like this guy with his name, Borat, I don't know what his name uh, uh, Mimi Hijab have interview with him. Even this one, he said he was in a video with David. What he says, yes, the disciple they saw after the Mark Herman. Yeah, he said yes. The, the video of the, uh, David will go watch it. He said yes. The obviously the the disciple they saw someone look like Jesus. This is after the crucifixion. So how they can see that? I mean, what it's is a that? little bit shaky. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've been hearing stuff because you know, I mean, I, I've spoke to you because. The thing is about you is you guys like to to act, you you like to attack uh, people's emotions. Like a lot of those people who leave Islam, you tell them, "Oh wow, Islam says this." I don't have a problem if it's the word of God, but it's I I, I search for the truth, you know. I find that this is funny, uh, Jihad. Isn't it you? You called me maybe a year ago, and you decide to leave Islam. Did I attack your emotion? Because because at that time, let me let me let me explain to you. Okay. Back in those days, I was convinced that Ahl al Sunnah wal Jama'ah was was the ultimate truth, and that's when I begin watching CP. Okay. And that's when I begin seeing all the stuff which comes to mind. But did I attack which... your emotion? And then you said to me, "Okay, you know what? I'm not going to believe in this garbage no more." Do you remember what you said? It was more than a year ago, correct? Maybe two years. I'm not sure. About had yeah. Okay, so you yourself did did I attack your emotion or I showed no, you? No, but back in the days, I used to believe in the sunnah. Doesn't matter. And doesn't then, matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, and then whenever did you I guys, show you because everything you guys said was hadith, hadith, hadith. No, I'm hadith. showing you Quran. I'm showing you Quran too. That's not true. I don't just show hadith. Same time, Islam is based on the hadith and the Quran. You said to me how many times you pray? Can you show me in the Quran where it says five? Nowhere. Can you show me how to fast? Can you show me how to wipe your hands exactly the details with all the details? It's no, only... no. Okay, so either you follow the hate or you don't. So, uh, uh, you know, either we are going to deny the hadith, which is a shame because that means you Muslims don't trust Muslims. That means Muslims, they lie about their prophet. Therefore, they are not trustworthy. And if, if, they, if they can corrupt the hadith, they can corrupt the Quran. Because the Quran is the one you are reading, is according to, according to, according to, according to, according to recitation, not even a book. They don't have a book. And now Muslims don't have a book for the Quran. What we see in front of us is a print of someone they claim, his name is Hafs, recitation was the best. And Hafs, if you search right now in Arabic, it says Hafs kana kathaban. He is a liar. He's a thief. And his father was the same, Ibn Asim. Hasim is his father's stepfather. He was a fraud. So, and this is why the Muslim they refuse even to accept his hadith. So, how we accept we don't accept his hadith because he's a liar, but we accept his Quran. So, when you call me two years ago, I'm not sure what the date is. 
you uh, you you said I'm not going to believe in this garbage no more, and you decide to leave Islam. And now you are calling me again, and you are saying you're a Muslim. No, did did, did I say anything? I'm, I I all I did was I I didn't say I didn't say yes or no. No, you say the way, you say I, I, I remember very well. People they can search for friend. the video. People they can search for the video. I think they will find something about jihad leaving Islam. Go ahead. Good luck. You will hear yourself. Okay. No. No, 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 no. I'm, 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 I'm not denying that. But at that time, what I'm trying to explain to you hmm. is that everything was in shock to me about because I was looking at hadith and this and that, and and I started, I, I started thinking in a in a different way and looking hmm. at different scholars. Okay. What, what about now? I'm showing you Quran. I ask you about killing the boy. You refuse to to continue in the topic. Is it okay to kill a boy just because he's a, I don't like how he look like? Because I think he will be kafir one day. Should I kill a, a person before he do the, the 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 guilt? And he's a Muslim kid. He's a son of believers. You refuse to answer. I mean, that's that's from the Quran. I mean. Yeah, that's from the Quran. So I, I'm I'm saying to you, my friend. I'm saying to you, you you Muslims, you give excuses. Oh, this is from the Hadith. I don't trust the Hadith one hundred percent. Okay, we show you the Quran. Oh, you have wrong interpretation. Okay, we show you the interpretation, and then you say I don't accept the interpretation. <laughs> so what we will do? You know, sometimes I feel like I'm I'm speaking to a monkey. I'm not insulting you, but a monkey. He keeps jumping from branch to branch, and he's trying. I'm trying to convince him. That the ball he have in his hand is Macy's boy, not a coconut. Well, I think I mentioned before that in some situations, I, I don't, I don't think that the Quran was preserved properly. I don't care, my friend. If it's not preserved, that means the Quran is the book of God, because the Quran says that Allah He will preserve the Quran. So it's not the preserved, but Allah He said He will preserve the Quran. And now we have a monkey. Holding the ball of Macy's and trying to convince him that this is not a coconut. So which one I should show you? I show you the Quran, you say it's not preserved. I show you the Hayyid not preserved. I show you the interpretation not preserved. I show you so what I will do. You tell me. It doesn't matter I mean, where because, I go. Because you you focus on 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 the the Ahl al Sunnah. That's what you, my what friend. You this is Quran. On. This is not Shia. This is not Sunnah. This is Quran. What Shia? I, actually, I'm not. I, I, I can show you the Shia. The, the Shia will drive you crazy. The Shia believe that Hassan and Hussein they speak 70 million languages. And if you wear if you wear a black shoes, your penis will not function. If you wear a, a yellow shoes, you will be booming, booming like nonstop. Don't go to the Shia. You will die laughing. Ali, he was in Japan in the same time he was in Persia, in the same time he was taking his lunch in Damascus. This is the Shia. The Shia now in Iraq, they put for them dirt every year, tons of dirt, because they steal the dirt around the grave of Al Hassan Al Hussein and they eat it. Literally, they eat the dirt. This is the Shia. So I'm not mentioning the Shia because the Shia. It's not the one who's making big noise about themselves. They are so quiet. You Sunni make big noise. So we have to put a needle in the balloon and then people will notice that the balloon is just gas. There's nothing inside. It's a big balloon, drum, boom, 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 boom. The second you put a needle in the drum... That's what I was responding to. Okay, so you okay, agree with and then, me? And then there was there was even a Shia scholar in, in Iraq and there was many of them who said that <laughs> The the Quran has uh, tahrif in it hmm. because of the of the uh, co some of the companions yeah, that the were Shia, not reliable. The Shia they believe that the true Quran is with Fatima and Fatima she took uh, uh, Al Mahdi he will bring the Quran back. Al Mahdi he will bring it. Back. So that so I mean so th that that's where I started to go with it was that okay you know after I heard the holes in the narrative thing I was like okay. Perhaps it no, no, wasn't no, preserved. no, no, hold on, it's not hold on. Uh, jihad? And then, no. lo and behold, I find out that that's how Shia believe, no. and so that must go back to some certain tradition that exists. Okay, but you left right Islam. You, you told me you left Islam before Yasir Qadi. He said the whole narrative, and 
now you are coming be calling me back as a Muslim. I don't know what happened to you, but you, maybe you can. No, explain. I mean, I, I mean, I was just in. I mean, at the end of the day, I, I reject a lot of the ideologies you were presenting. I mean, you got to admit, CP, everything you present is okay. The prophet he took a bath with a pool of blood. He took the black dog is this, the black this and that. Everything is hadith, hadith, hadith. So of course I I didn't I, I didn't un, I said okay I mean this is yeah no I I never show hadith only and the same as I'm doing my conversation with you now nothing changed I we go from place to place when you say I don't accept hadith I go to the Quran when you say I accept hadith I go to the hadith so this is not really an excuse and here we go I showed you from the Quran what do you do you what do you do you deny the Quran you say there's holes in the narrative and the Quran is not preserved. So what is the solution with, with, uh, with jihad? No, there is no solution because jihad is in denial. He don't want to accept the fact that he have no God. He have no religion. His religion is very corrupt and there's nothing trustworthy in, in, in Islam. Nothing. Because the hadith is written by Muslims, Quran written by Muslims, and the seerah written by Muslims. And then the Muslims themselves, they don't accept what they wrote by their hand. So what we will do? Okay, I guess I have to think about it. All right. So you, you don't wanna you don't wanna denounce Islam today, and you don't wanna say you you left Islam again. Yeah, my friend, I don't I don't want to say anything. Uh, why not? You know, I don't I don't like to make any rash decisions. You, why? What? Because... You know, you already you said that the Quran is corrupt. According to Islam, this is will make you ex-Muslim right now. What I'm saying to you is, brother, is like, okay, okay, Jesus is the Messiah. There was many prophets who came to, to warn of the message, mm. the message of God. Mm. So we wait for the end times for the truth to be revealed. Mm. But at the end of the day, the one who is good, who does righteous deeds, mm. like let's say, for example, I'm a person who prays to God, the creator. Let's say I'm a person who goes and, and, and helps a poor person or... I find, you know, a, a sick bird on the street and I let him drink some water. Hmm. Is, is, is God going to accept those things? Well, you are, you are, you are going off for things that have nothing to do with my topic. It's not up to me. If I make, uh, you know, if I give a bird some water, that will not make me good enough for God because still I'm a sinner. Am I like a holy person now because I gave the bird uh, uh, some Pepsi Cola? What does that have to do with me being good? You know, uh, all a human being, even criminals, they do good. Even even criminals, even rapists, they can do good. But they are rapists. That will not change anything. Very simple. So either we are good, and then we do not even need God because we are good. We are good like God then, but because we are not good. Then there's no that's good why you have Jesus as a as as an interceder, right? He intercedes. Well, you know the, the the statement of interceding is true and not true in the same time because it is Jesus Himself who forgives sin, but the intercession here is about Jesus being the middle way for you. Let us say between you and heaven. So through Jesus, your sin is forgiven, and then you go to heaven. But who forgives your sin? Jesus. It's not he's not asking the father to forgive you he himself is forgiving you uh, yeah it's 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 difficult to understand hmm. but you know when Jesus uh, was on the cross when, when Jesus was on the cross uh, he said everything Jesus has said it's based in in, in in the wisdom of God so he said, forgive them, Father, they do not know what they are doing. This is the son speaking to the father, asking him to forgive who? The one who is killing him. Because Jesus, he don't want the Christians and the father to do penalty for those people. Because this is a great sin they did against Jesus. So Jesus, he is asking the father, I forgive them, Father. They don't know what they are doing. So Jesus forgives sin, the Father forgives sin, and Father and the Son is a one willing 
or one will happen to us so if it's the will of the father that the son forgives sin it's the will of the son that the father forgives sin it's the will of the father the son forgives sin so it is the will of God that you're sent to be forgiven if you ask for it and if you repent as simple as that